Hey all you Facebook fantastic, fabulous $5 fashionistas. I just want to give you a quick tip, a um, little training for this week. So booking parties, you guys, it's so easy. It's easier than you think. Yes, you're going to have people that say no and that's okay. It's more important to know that you just got to keep doing it and consistently ask people, okay? And sometimes when someone says no, it doesn't mean no forever. It just means no, not right now. So make sure that you go back and ask those same people um, maybe in a month or two from, from then. So uh, like you guys saw yesterday, I booked two parties and the only thing I did was I posted um, a cute little picture about how much I love giving away free jewelry and I invited people to host a, a Facebook party with me and I had two people respond like right away. And so I got two people booked on my, um, on my calendar just right then and there. So keep asking, and remember, if you're online right now and you're watching this, hey girls, I see Dolly and Larissa are on watching, uh, go in to the right side column of your Facebook page and look at all the friends that you have, and a lot of times there's like a little green dot next to their name It says that shows that they're online right now. Just click on their names and invite five people to host a Facebook party with you, like right now. I do that probably once or twice a week. Um, or whenever I have like my schedule is getting kind of empty and I don't have many parties and I, and I need to book a party, I'll just go and I'll ask 10 people right away and usually I'll get at least two that will book. So if you're looking like your calendar is kind of empty, go and invite your friends right now and keep on asking them and keep on inviting them. You don't have to do a personal message all the time. Like yesterday, I just posted something on my Facebook group page. Um, that wasn't a personal message. It was just a shout out. Say, hey, who wants free jewelry? Um, or you can go and instant message them, text message them, call them up on the phone, but keep asking you guys. Cause they, if they say no right now, um, maybe just right now is not a good time. So try later. Um, you know, it doesn't hurt. So I had a gal that said, oh, I don't want to, my, my parties, she's another direct sales company rep and her parties from January have just been kind of flops for her company and what she does. And so she was kind of um, not certain whether she wanted to do a party. And so I told her, I said, hey, well, if this month is looking kind of bad for you with your company and your parties, let's do February instead. And I didn't say anything about her company, whether it was like good product or bad product or anything like that. But I also told her that I throw really great parties, which on Facebook I usually do. I usually have great parties and my hostesses always, always earn for each stuff. And so... Um, and that's another thing is really let them know how easy it is for them to earn free hostess rewards because it is super, super easy. But the hostesses have to do the correct things. They need to invite and they need to give a good advance notice. So a week in advance um, would be good. If not, I've done parties that are on the fly like, hey, I have tomorrow night open. Let's just do a party tomorrow night. How, do you, how does that sound to you? And those parties have been great too. So, but just make sure you invite the people at, initially and in that the hostesses are um, instant messaging them and reminding them about the party before the party starts. So if it's going to be that evening, have the hostess message them in the morning, say, hey guys, my party's tonight, get online. They're gonna, if you're going to do a live portion to your Facebook party, tell them what time so they, can, they know to get on. Um, and then also do a lot of things where you ask your hostess to be involved and interact with posts. So have some games, um, just have like little cute memes of, you know, oh, what's your favorite jewelry to wear? And then, so everybody's interacting somehow. That is huge, having interaction with your customers on the party. Um, let's see, another thing would be to tag. Have your hostess tag the friends in pictures of jewelry that they think their friends would love or would look great in. Um, so there's lots of different ways to ask your hostess to do things that's gonna help your party uh, be a better party and have them post it to their timeline. Um, so if, if your hostess does nothing, if you just create the Facebook event and your hostess just invites 20 people the week before and then does nothing at all, um, the party is probably not going to be that, that big of a party. Um, so the more interaction and the more involved your hostess is in the process, the bigger the party is going to be and the more hostess rewards she's going to get. So just make sure that you guys are, are teaching your hostesses what they can do to make their parties bigger and better. Now it's not a lot that they have to do, like they could just go like a page, tag a friend, post it to their wall, do a reminder, and that's really it you guys. They don't have to do it you know, too much. 
Really, they don't. And always encourage the hostesses um, to go and pick out a few items beforehand so that they can grab their favorite pieces so that they're guaranteed to get those pieces for free at the end of their party. Because if their friends buy those pieces, then they're gone, right? So if they see pieces that they want and they wanted those for their free hostess rewards, um, encourage them to go ahead and put sold on those pieces. So, and also by them showing that they're, they're buying stuff, it's gonna have their guests um, excited about the product and they're gonna wanna buy stuff too. So when they see that the hostess is purchasing pieces, then they're gonna get on board and purchase pieces too. Um, so if you guys have any more questions, just let me know. I encourage doing a live video during your Facebook events. That's always fun because they get to see the jewelry. Um, you know, they get to see what a necklace would look like, the length of it, the earrings they come with, all those different things that sometimes um, they don't really get from the, from the picture. And sometimes they can see the tone of gold a little bit better. Some gold pieces are more rose tone. Some are more yellow, uh, yellow gold. And so it, it's really helpful to do a live video. And it's fun because you get to interact with them and they get to see what your personality is like. And so that's always awesome, right? Because it's fun to buy something from someone that you feel like you can connect with. So um, I love you guys. Hopefully this helps you guys. It does. It has helped my business tremendously doing things this way. And remember to keep on asking, okay? Don't worry about the no's that you get. Just keep on asking. Those parties will come and you'll get your, your calendars all filled and you'll be making the money you want to make. Okay, guys. See ya.